flowers, candles, and stuffed animals still mark the spot where a 19 year old was shot and killed on Belk Street on April 20th. Out of nowhere, you know, we just hear a car pulling up. We just hear gunshots. Keon Menifee and Oli Haywood were there that Friday night saying it all happened too fast. They're trying to do CPR and stuff, you know what I'm saying? I was holding his head. Now police tell us the shooting was related to a paintball war happening in Greensboro. It's all on social media and everything. Everybody just have their own teams. Police say they've dealt with 39 paintball related incidents from assault to vandalism in April. They found the victim's car was splattered with paint. We strongly believe um, that these activities led to the death of a young man. Captain Nathaniel Davis says the crimes are happening all over the city and they'll be aggressive with charging people tied in with paintball crimes moving forward. This is not safe. Uh, and this is not something that is acceptable. People in this neighborhood tell me they're sick of dealing with this paintball vandalism. Some even still have shells in their yard. When you're going around like that, you know what I'm saying, shooting up people's houses, there's going to be somebody that, that, that won't like it. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be somebody that don't want to play. And they just take it to the next level, I guess. I hope no one took it to the next level if it was because of paintball. Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again, hit you with a video. Now this video comes out of Greens, Greensboro, excuse me, North Carolina. And I want to thank the mom of this victim for sending me this uh this link because I didn't hear anything about this story because so many other things going on in the news and also in my life. So when I got there and I can hear her pain because she uh reached out to me in the email. Um and I normally don't, you know, check it like that because I said for business only but at the same time if it's something serious and also somebody needing help or any kind of assistance or advice the best you know what i'm saying that i can give because i'm not saying that i'm a guru of advice but i have a lot of people reaching out to me over a lot of different things so when i when i came across her email it really touched me and stuff because i'm like wow you know i could tell by her words and how she worded it that she was very hurt and her name is miss kim mccauley so i want to say uh number one god bless you and i'm sorry for what happened to your son and it was you and your email that led me to do this video about uh, this instance because this is happening not only in North Carolina but also in California, also in Texas, in any other major cities where you have people, uh, youngsters, who's driving around, and some of them a little older too also because you got some old damn fools also, driving around uh, with paintballs. Spraying up people car like they got damn submachines Uzi coming out of clubs and stuff, uh, having paintball wars. And I think this shit, not not that I think, I know that this stuff comes from 21 Savage because it's all over the news with 21 Savage talking about this supposed to be like to uh put down your guns and pick up paintballs. Hell, have you ever been shot with a damn paintball? Let's get that straight, number one. Don't you know? Yeah, a bullet gonna knock you on your ass, but don't you know a paintball will sit up here and put your eye out? Don't you know that you can have all kinds of damages and stuff? Yeah, you have all kinds of blisters and stuff on your skin? You must not know how, how powerful a paintball gun is. And also, why would you want to ride around with a paintball gun when you see men getting gunned down by police for no damn reason? Why would you even want to give somebody a screw? So you have to think about all those type of things. But this is a, a recent trend that was started by 21 Savage and also been going on for a long while. Because even if you go back to the movie 8 Mile with Eminem, you will see them shooting at the paintball gun. Rabbit Eminem played on the movie where he shot the police car with the paintball gun. And that was like, what, 2002, 2003? So this is something that's been going on for a long ass time. But I'm going to go and dig into this story and I'm going to get my opinion. Sure, let's we go. North Carolina man, 19 years old, young guy, shot dead, may have been victim of paintball war that began on social media as a campaign to curb violence. How in the hell could it be uh, uh, a tool to curb violence when you promote violence with violence? You know, you ain't doing nothing but trading in a damn uh, real gun for a damn Rubber bullet gun, you feel me? I mean, it's going to still be the same consequences. Let the police roll up and you got a paintball gun. They're going to swear to God you got a baby AR-15 or a submachine Uzi or a MAC-10, you know. So you're still asking for it. And also, why every time some trends or challenges happen on social media, whether it's uh, Eat the Cinnamon Challenge, whether it's the Water Bucket Challenge, whether it's Walk on Ice Challenge, whether it's uh, Walk on Hot Coals and stuff like you in Hawaii and shit, challenge you know and for some reason these people see that and it just blows their mind you will have people imitating and copying every damn thing that they see so this society has just become like a whole mimicking society where whatever they see the other people do like that old saying monkey see monkey do let's continue now zaquarius bradley 19 was shot dead in greensboro north carolina the night of april the 20th 
Police believe the young man was killed in the midst of a citywide paintball war. Pause. How in the hell can you have a citywide paintball war? You know what I'm saying? You ain't, you don't know when to wash your car. You don't know what the hell to do because somebody might come by and just light that joker up. Now, paintball wars have been breaking out across the country as part of a campaign to curb gun violence. You just trading it one bad thing for another one. That's all the hell you're doing. I'm tired of people trying to sugarcoat this shit. You know, when we was coming up and everything, even though I'm not old or nothing, but I'm just saying it was a little different, you know, because we didn't have this social media influence. You know, and maybe if we did back then, we probably would have indulged in some of that. But at the same time, I think we was raised a little different. It's like, it's like number one, you could tell us stuff, you know. These kids these days, they don't want to hear shit. You got to say, oh, 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 you, you, you an old head or you this and that. You don't even be old, you know what I'm saying? They, matter of fact, the ones who calling you an old head look older than you in the face. You feel me? That rough, uh, tough-ass life. You feel me? It's going to catch up with you. But you can't tell them nothing. So, and I'm not saying that this guy, you know what I'm saying? This video is not to be negative or direct any, you know what I'm saying, toward the victim that lost his life no i'm making a point i'm not saying that his mom can tell him nothing or his dad or his relatives no i'm saying the other people around him also and maybe him but i don't know that but at the same time you cannot tell a lot of them nothing that's why a lot of things happen you know and then when it happened everybody like wondering why you got to stop putting yourself in these situations true we can look back and say 21 savage did, did that or or this and that but if that's the case Look who you're gaining your influence from. That's the whole point. Look where you're drawing your, your energy from. If you sit up in here and, and look at these crazy-ass thugs and stuff and doing crazy things, and, and, and if you participate in that, not saying that the, the victim was, I mean, what the hell? You know, when there's so many other things that you can draw from. You know what I'm saying? Draw from somebody going to college. Draw from somebody trying to build something. Draw from somebody trying to build a platform and help people reach out on comedy or something. You know, so, hey. Now, in Greensboro alone, cops say they have received nearly 40 paintball-related calls since April the 1st. Damn. Now, just an hour before Bradley's death, cops confiscated some of his paintball gear. Authorities say they believe a North Carolina man shooting death is linked to an ongoing paintball battle around the city. That's what Greensboro police tell local media about the April 20th death of 19-year-old Zaquarius Bradley. Police say Bradley's body was found next to a car on the 3300 block of Beck Street that was covered in paintballs around 11.30 p.m. He was rushed to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. He died from bullets from an actual gun, not a paintball gun. So who in the hell out here cheating? You know what I'm saying? That's what I want to know. Everybody out here lined up with damn super soakers and paintball guns, and here you come with a 22 or a 38 or a 32. You see what I'm saying? What the hell do they do this at? But see, this is what happened when you put ignorant-ass people out here around regular people. Now, I'm sure that this guy was just going to have him a good time, light up a couple of little stop signs or cars or whatever, shoot at each other, thinking that they playing Fortnite. And for those who know what Fortnite is, you know what I'm talking about. So... You know, and they just probably think, well, it's going to be a good old time not realizing that you got some sick, demonic-ass people who probably have something against you or, at the same time, you don't probably whoop their ass in every paintball championship battle that they had on the street. So they say, well, guess what? I'm going to go get me a real gun, and we're going to just put a stop to all this. That sounds like what happened to me, but anytime you try to sit up here and, and, and take one lesser evil for another one, some bad still going to come out of it because it's still not right. You know, you can put each other out, and then when you talk like that, oh, you sound like my grandma, you sound like my grandfather, well, goddamn, somebody need to tell you something. Now, earlier in the evening, officers say they had confiscated paintball guns from Bradley. Bradley must have been around there lighting shit up. Mama reached back out to me, Miss Kim, and let me know if this is true that officers had confiscated paintball guns from Bradley. How many paintball guns he had? And where did he get the money to get all these damn paintball guns from? Because these some of these paintball guns be three, four, five hundred damn dollars. Now, about an hour later, cops were sent back out when five people called 911 to say they witnessed a drive-by shooting. So they driving by shooting with paintball missed with damn real bullets. You don't know what the hell to dodge? You know what I'm saying? If you ain't Neo out the Matrix and you can do all this shit right here, you know what I'm saying? You in big time trouble because you don't know if you're going to get hit by a rubber damn uh, paint or you're going to get hit by some damn slugs or some real steel. That right there is a tragedy right there. That is a game that I do not want to play in. You know what I'm saying? Because I weigh the options of everything. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, well, you know, I might get hit by a paintball that day or I might get hit by a bullet. 
you know, I quit. You can call me a punk. You can call me a sissy. You can say, boy, you weak or whatever hell else. And y'all see how light I am. I get hit with one of them damn payball guns. I'm going to turn blue, black, pink, purple, all that shit. I'm going to turn a whole damn rainbow color. You know what I'm saying? Like I got the LGBT painted on my body. So I don't want all that. Let's continue this story. Now, out of nowhere, we just hear a car pulling up. Keon Manifi, who was hanging out with Bradley, said that night, the caller said Bradley had been sitting in his car when he was shot. Witnesses ran and pulled him out of the car and onto the ground where they performed CPR. One of the callers said that Bradley had been shot in the chest. Others said the killer who drove by and shot the team was in a 1990s Buick or, or a similar vehicle. Now, you know damn well from watching all these hood movies, you know what I'm saying, from watching Colors, from watching Menace to Society, from watching all these damn movies, you know Three cars that you should be aware of in the hood. And for those who do not know this, let me point out these three cars for you all. That's number one. The main car is a uh, Cutlass. If you see a Cutlass turning the hood, you know what I'm saying? You know them two-door-ass Cutlass. If you see one of them, hit the deck. Go get cover. Seek shelter. Number two, if you see a Buick Regal come around the damn block, get low, hit the deck. It's about to be on. If you see a box Chevy or a Caprice, or one of them old other Capris that they think that's an Impala. Really ain't no damn Impala. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah, that ain't no damn Impala. So anyway, if you see those cars, hit the deck because shit about to go on. That is like the calling car. You know how like a, a, a hitman calling car is a 22 with two bullets in your head? No, a, a guy or somebody finna do a drive-by. That's their calling car. Cutlass, Regal, and those fake-ass uh, Capris that look like Impalas. Let's continue. Now, Captain Nathaniel Davis said police... Dealt with 39 paintball-related incidents last month from assault to vandalism. They round there just lighting Greensboro up. You feel me? I come through there. I'm going to have to come through there with me, uh, my pressure washer, so I can just pull over if, they, if my car get lit up, you feel me, and just, and just spray that shit off, you feel me, and keep on going. I'm not going to get out. Now, in recent weeks, authorities in several cities around the city have linked a social media campaign encouraging, encouraging, paintball wars as a substitute for gun violence to fatal shooters involved real guns how about you just don't have the shit in your system don't on your mind how about you put some money on your mind you feel me how about you have education on your mind because let me let me repeat this so you all get a better understanding in recent weeks authorities in several cities around the country have linked a social media campaign encouraging paintball wars not go to school wars, not not feed the homeless wars, no, paintball wars, still violent, as a substitute for gun violence. The only way you should need a substitute for gun violence is if you out there participating with the shit. If you with the shit, if you out here in the streets pulling pistols on people, doing drive-bys, or walking around with your gun, that's the only way I can see the curb it. So what happened if you don't have any of that in you? Do you still need to do a paintball war? Yes, some of them still going to do it. I'm saying yes because that's what they will see, but it's really no. You feel me? But this goes to show you how much and easily people are influenced in today's society. You can you can put you can put a shit war, and excuse my French, because a lot of people be getting kind of hurt when I be uh, expressing myself, even though I don't go hard. And I'm like, but damn, I'm grown. I can say what I want to say. I'm not trying to be mean about it, but it, I don't let nobody correct my speech. You know what I'm saying? This is my platform, and I said how I want to say it, and that's just the way it is. So if I say something and you don't like it, you know what to do just click off fine cool life goes on but at the same time if somebody have a shit war where well, they say well today instead of throwing rocks at people we're gonna uh we're gonna uh use the bathroom do a number two and we're gonna and you know some of you all got the milky way bars them hard bricks some of them man some of them some of them prison turds the angola and san quentin turds you know the kind of stop on toilets they say well we ain't gonna use rocks today we're gonna use hard uh feces and we're gonna throw a uh, hard doo-doo at, at, at each other instead of these rocks i guarantee you if you had the right people behind it you had 21 savage on there so yeah man i got my shit ready and he point a picture to his toilet or you have a picture of whoever else out here with the bull the bull crap or whatever bow wow whatever Gary, I guarantee you, you're going to have a million some people follow behind them talking about shit wars and you turn on World Star, it's going to be people covered in green, uh, doo-doo brown, all that stuff. I'm just, I'm just showing you how easily people are <laughs> to be swayed and misled, you know. Anyway, now, paint balls up, guns down. And who, who, what kind of shit is that? You feel me? When you get your eye put out or you get your damn teeth shot out, then you're going to be talking about uh, paintballs down and guns down too also. Now, it's a campaign that has been backed on social media by rappers such as 21 Savage. Who gives a damn what 21 Savage backs? That ignorant little bastard, who gives a damn? You feel me? These people find the most ignorant 
things that they can bag and then you all jump on board and then you wonder why something happened you know that's crazy you know what i'm saying find you a better role model find you a better person to look up to and idolize if you're going to do something like that now paintball guns use pressurized air and can launch pellets 100 feet at 200 miles per hour yeah, yeah. fire between 8 and 30 shots per second get hit with about eight of them in your face and watch if you're gonna think you got hit by a damn 12 gauge shell now according to greensboro news and record we don't encourage any kind of violence, you know. Department spokesman Ronald Glenn said, just because it's paintballs instead of guns does not mean it's safe. It's not damn safe. Now, no one has been arrested in connection to Bradley's death. Anyone with information on the killer is being asked to call Crime Stoppers at 336-373-1000. The local branch of Crime Stoppers is offering a reward of up to $2,000 for information leading to the arrest or indictments of the individual or individuals responsible and i hope they catch that bastard that did that because you's a dirty player boy i bet when you used to play video games when you was young you used to put out in all the cheat codes up up down down left right left right ba select star and for those of you who know what that code is let me know in the comment section what it is because that's going to troll that's, that's gonna really going to show me if you uh, are a true uh, gamer or not you know that that code right there so you got people out here cheating the game they ain't talking about cheating on your wires or anything like that no you got people uh supposed to be out here with real paintballs which is bad and then at the same time especially if you ain't got no gear on you know what i'm saying if you're gonna do the paintball thing and let me end it like this if you're gonna do the paintball thing do like other people do do like regular people do go to a damn designated spot have protective covering on have your face uh them goggles and stuff your, your, your mouth area and, and and the little padded stuff so that way when the paintballs hit you you know what i'm saying they won't really just bruise you up but if you out here in the streets and you have an urban warfare what the hell do you expect i mean somebody gonna come along oh i'm gonna beat y'all today i got me a real gun some damn idiot you know what i'm saying and whoever that bastard is boy i hope to god they catch him because if they catch him i'm gonna put him on blast i'm gonna cook that ass anyway let me know what you all think about this video right here if you like the video push that like button if you like the video definitely uh subscribe to this channel share the video and to the mom of the victim miss kim mccauley i'm sorry that this happened to your son i want to thank you once again for reaching out to me and hopefully hopefully we can catch the m alpha yes the m alpha you know i'm trying to tone it down a little bit so work with me it's hopefully we can catch the m alpha that did this to your son and bring him to justice because this is not right you know if you out here and you shooting paintballs and then you come with a real pistol. That's no justification for that. And I hope they find them. Let me know what you all think about uh, this video also. Till next time, y'all stay blessed. Stay vigilant. And talk to your kids. No matter if they're 19 and still your child. No matter if they're 30 and still your child. No matter if they're 50 or 60. But I'm talking to the younger ones. You know. Because this social media is, is a great thing. But at the same time, it can be the most evilest thing in the world. It can build you up. And it can tear you down. I'm out.